is the challenge exactly? Well, the challenge, what it is, is that you, every single day for 30 consecutive days, commit to taking one step outside of your comfort zone. Now, it could be something as simple as walking a different way to work. Vadim Zeeland actually gives that example in the book. You could do something like walk into a business of something that you are maybe interested in doing and go up to the owner and ask him how he started his business, right? Maybe it's a business that you've considered owning or opening for yourself. So it's you committing to every single day trying to think of one thing you can do that is outside of your normal realm of activities. Again, it can be anything. So there are two different ways you can take this challenge. You can take this challenge with a goal in mind or you can take this challenge to find a goal or um, encounter something that's going to inspire you to see maybe a possible new goal for yourself. So how you would do this with a goal in mind. First thing I advise is writing down what it is you want to do. So let's say you want to start a new business for yourself. So maybe you know what that business is. Maybe you've decided that you want to open a bakery, okay? So you write down on the top of the piece of paper, I want to open a bakery. And then anything that you can think of that you haven't done, even if it seems a little bit outlandish, such as going to look at leased space to have a bakery, right? Going to look at a commercial building, maybe to buy or maybe to rent. Maybe again, you ask somebody that you know that knows a baker, like how did you get started? What did you do exactly? What equipment do I need? You could do research online. You could research what equipment you need or what it takes or how to get a loan or whatever it is. But the cool thing is, is as long as you can take the first couple of steps on your own, all of a sudden your reality sort of opens up and starts presenting to you a bunch of new anomalous actions that you can take. So the key is, is to get like, I, I sort of look at it like riding a bike, the analogy of once you're up on the bike and you start pedaling and then that gear kicks in and then you're riding. So the first few steps are very, challenging, sometimes hard to see, and maybe a little bit uncomfortable. After that, you should probably have about a week's worth. This is typically how it works for me. And then after that week, it starts to become more challenging to think of more ways that I could take a step in the direction of that goal. It is extremely challenging, but it is a lot of fun. And a lot of things that I have right now are actually because of me taking this challenge myself. So how you could do this to find a goal? Well, this one's actually quite simple. All you have to do is every single day do something different. Again, walk to work a different way. Maybe call a friend that you haven't spoken to in years. Maybe you go visit a city nearby that you're considering moving to or just anything, but it's getting out of that typical groove of just moving back and forth in the same direction, seeing the same things, hearing the same things, smelling the same things, you know, all the senses get used to picking up the cues or you've already seen the signs, you've already, you've already lived that reality, right? So if you want to start creating a new reality for yourself, really you have to start seeing new things and hearing new things and encountering new things and encountering new information. And it really starts to snowball very, very quickly. So why this works? Well, I think as human beings, we become almost scared and paralyzed at times to take action in our lives. And even if you were to take this challenge and it doesn't necessarily produce some big result for you, 
what it will do is it will allow you to strengthen that ability to take action when you see it. So my theory is, is that we all see doors and we all see signs in our daily lives that we kind of pass by quickly because we are not in the habit of taking consistent action in new directions and we sort of just pass that stuff by. So if you get yourself going and start really every single day looking for ways that you can take an anomalous action, a step outside of your comfort zone, you are going to strengthen your ability to move on an opportunity in the future when you see it. This is what has happened for me. I am no, uh, <laughs> I am no stranger to moving on stuff. I see something now and I go into my action mode. I go into my discovery mode. And that's another thing that I want to talk about quickly. Discovery mode is when you sort of feel some heart and mind coordination about something and you decide, or at least this is how it works for me, I am going to discover everything about this that I can right now to gather as much information so I can figure out if it's for me or not. The 30 anomalous action challenge and going into discovery mode kind of work hand in hand. Again, using the example of somebody wanting to open up a bakery. Maybe for 15 days you are in pure discovery mode, just learning everything you need to learn so you can make an assessment uh, if the thing is for you or not. So this is really just about you kind of diving in to the alternative space and going full, full force on creating some new material coming into your life and getting energy circulating in a manner where this groove starts to starts to not exist anymore. So the new stuff on the new tracks, you're tapping into that. Those other variations of reality are starting to become, well, we don't really wanna go lower, but those, those other va variations of reality are starting to come into focus a little Little bit more you're starting to realize oh wow there's some stuff up here and there's some stuff here and what's this over here and just getting away from doing this monotonous sort of thing where you have tapped everything in your reality that there is to tap it's time to forge a new path so with that I'm going to challenge everyone to take the 30 anomalous action challenge and to dive in lots of people have filmed themselves every day their insights they gain what they did what it meant for them paths they found signs they saw all that stuff posted them to the iti facebook group which if you have not joined is awesome for support in this sort of thing and yes i'm going to challenge you to do it either with a goal in mind or no goal in mind and see what happens in your reality. And thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Bye.